All right, Larry Kruger here from the Pig and a Pickle Crew Show with a little 49er video as we discuss some of the players who potentially could be available to the 49ers at the cutdown on August the 27th, a couple weeks from now. And, of course, this video brought to you by Pig and a Pickle, the best barbecue in all of Northern California. Check them out. They're in Emeryville and Corte Madera. They're open seven days a week from 11 a.m. till 8 p.m. or until they run out. Pig and a Pickle, the best barbecue in all of Northern California. And this video is brought to you by Sharp Corners, sports cards and collectibles. They're at 205 Cypress Avenue in Pacific Grove along the Monterey Peninsula. Call my friend Anthony Catania down there at 831 521 5264 for all your sports cards and collectible needs. All right, there was an interesting article um, today that um, I read on Bleacher Report's website. And, you know, there was a couple couple different ones um, that that caught my eye. One of them, though, was they went through every team in the NFL and they said one player that could be in danger of being traded or cut um, at the cutdown date on the 27th of August as teams pair from 90-man camp rosters to 53-man regular season rosters. And they had one guy for every team. And for the Niners, they had Brandon Ayuk as the guy most likely to be traded. Um, and they had one guy for every team. And there were a few te- few guys here that really are interesting names that I think, man, if I'm John Lynch, I would have a lot of interest in these guys. So let's go through um, the the seven guys that I think the 49ers could have some potential interest in. The first one is... Um, the Pittsburgh Steelers defensive end, um, DeMarvin Leal. And, you know, a lot of people are, you know, throwing out a bunch of different speculation out of Pittsburgh about who the Steelers are potentially offering the 49ers in a trade for Brandon. I Marvin Leal. Um, we just had Andrew Filipponi on and he said to Marvin Leal, number 98 for the Steelers, who was their third round pick in 2022 out of Texas A&M might be a a guy who he could see coming back to the 49ers in a deal for Ayuk. Uh, But they're also speculating here that, that Leal may get dealt or even cut at the cut down. He's 6'4", 290, uh, really long arms. He's only 24. I think he'd be a great addition to the 49er defensive line. I think think he could play a little 4-3 defensive end, a little 4-3 tackle. Um, I think he could be in in their bare front. Uh, DeMarvin Leal, I think, would be a good fit for the 49ers. Another guy on this list is Rams speedy wide receiver Tutu Atwell, the former Louisville burner. Um, you know, the 49ers, I mean, I've talked to Shanahan about this a few times in the, throughout the years. It's vital that he has a runoff the coverage guy, and he hasn't always had that. In fact, the 49ers really haven't had that kind of piece to the puzzle since the Harbaugh era when they had Ted Ginn. They're trying to replicate that speed threat with uh, Danny Gray. They took him in the third round. It didn't work out. He hasn't been able to stay healthy and stay on the field. Uh, They drafted Jacob Cowing this year um, on day three of the draft, and they've got high hopes for him, but he's having a hard time staying healthy. And there's a lot of talk out of L.A. that the Rams may trade or release Tutu Atwell. Tutu Atwell is a burner. I mean, there's fast, and then there's really fast, and then there's the two two Atwells of the world. And to me, Atwell would be a great complementary piece to the Niner receiving core as it currently stands. You've got JJ, you've got Debo, you've got Ayuk. If you added a burner like two two Atwell, I think that's exactly. Then you don't need Danny Gray. You may not even need Jacob Cowing. Um, So two two Atwell to me would be very very attractive if you're the Forty Niners. The Jets defensive end Hassan Reddick. Said he wanted, didn't want to go there. Got traded by the Eagles to the Jets. Jets have not taken his his holdout seriously at all. Now they're saying they're going to trade Hassan Reddick. Well, the Niners badly need a defensive end with Drake Jackson done for the year and Robert Beal developing, I think, rather slowly. And Hassan Reddick would make a lot of sense. Now he makes a lot of money. You have to somehow make it work on the cap, and I don't know that they could, but Hassan Reddick is the kind of edge rusher that would look great opposite Nick Bosa. Uh, Lewis Seen, the former Georgia Bulldog, who plays for Minnesota, the safety. You know, this guy was a pretty high draft pick and then had a leg injury. Hasn't He's kind of fallen out of favor, and now he's just kind of fallen down the depth chart at Minnesota. Uh, Lewis Seen, though, is an act. 
effective, physical, hard-hitting safety that I think can hit, like the Niners like their safeties to hit, and I think he can cover well enough uh, to be utilized in a in a cover three uh, zone scheme. So um, I think Lewis Seen makes a lot of sense. Um, this next one is really intriguing. Tyree Wilson of the Raiders. Now, the the Raiders are just one of the worst drafting teams really in the NFL consistently year after year. Um, you know, they drafted the gigantic offensive lineman from Alabama a couple of years ago, and they quickly moved off from him. Uh, that was a reach in the first round. Well, they went with Tyree, uh, Tyree Wilson um, last year with the seventh pick overall in the first round out of Texas Tech. And this guy is an Adonis, man. He's 6'6", he's 275. But there's a lot of talk that the Raiders may trade him, that they're not satisfied, that he's not been productive. Um, the 49ers like bigger body defensive ends. If you could get Tyree Wilson and Chris Kacarek's wide nine, get up the field uh, defense to you know simplify things for Tyree, if you could get all the potential that Wilson has out of him, I mean, getting him would be an amazing get. I mean, especially if Casera could turn him into something special. I mean, the 49ers might be able to really get, take that step they need to take defensively if they could make a deal like that and turn Tyree Wilson into the player that a lot of people thought he was going to be a year ago when he came out of Texas Tech. Two other names that are interesting. One is Javante Williams, the Denver running back. The Niners don't really need Javante Williams, but he's a very good running back. Um, and the other is Kair Elam, a cornerback from Flor University of Florida, um, who also has kind of had a hard time adjusting to the NFL, but another really, really talented guy. Niners are really loaded at, at corner. But to me, the guys that make to perfect sense, Tyree Wilson, um, Hassan Reddick, Tutu Atwell, DeMar uh, DeMarvin Leal, and Louis Cine. I think all those guys make, make sense for the 49ers if indeed they're cut at the at the deadline. Atwell would give you a uh, home run hitter, burner, field stretching, you know, vertical threat. Uh, Tyree Wilson and Hassan Reddick would give you one more defensive end, but he'd on the quarterback. Uh, Leal, I think, could be a very valuable get as a guy who can play inside or outside. And Lewis Seen, I think, has the ability to be a real impactful safety despite the fact that he has gotten his NFL career off to a relatively slow start. So interesting article in uh, Bleacher Report, trade block, uh, guys that are on the trade block at the cut down. Um, once again, to Marvin Leal, Tutu Atwell, Hassan Reddick, Lewis Seen, Tyree Wilson, uh, Javante Williams, and Kair Elam. Um, and all those guys would be really nice uh, acquisitions for John Lynch and the 49ers at the deadline. All right, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks to Pig and a Pickle for being the title sponsor of The Krug Show. Uh, thanks to Sharp Corner Sports Cards and Collectibles for sponsoring this video. And thanks to all of you guys for supporting The Krug Show on YouTube.